Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning. The time now is 6:42, and Corey, the trees have been getting a lot more color this week. More and more, and I think it will really be uh, at its peak in the next couple of days, toward the weekend especially. So if you really want to see that full fall color, at least as close as you're going to get on a weekend, it's probably this weekend. So your weatherwise question deals with fall color. Iowa's official state tree is the oak. Did we know that? I think I probably did at one point, but I had to look it up. What? or which color rather, do many species of oak turn in the fall? Of course, we've got usual fall color options here. Red, purple, orange, or do they just stay green? Is that a thing? Do we have trees like that? I don't know, think about it for a minute. We have seen the colors really pop out though, as Kristen said. Here's another picture from Leslie sent to us. Didn't give a specific location, but the colors certainly were nice. A nice splash of color, some reds, oranges, and yellows in and mixed among the green leaves that are still there on some trees. And if you have a picture, send it to us. Use the KCRG TV9 First Alert Weather app. Look for the U News button on that home screen. Otherwise, here's a tree in Sigourney that often looks very nice. So this time of year, it is bright red. Temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s. Winds out of the west between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. You see the flagpole in Sigourney, though, not moving a whole lot at this point. For the most part, shower activity has ended in eastern Iowa, but we can't fully rule out a few sprinkles or maybe even a shower as we go over the next couple of hours. But then as we go through the day, expect things to be generally drier. You see the scattering of clouds and some clearing at certain times over the last few hours here in eastern Iowa. Showers that have affected parts of the area overnight have now shifted to the east, but they only provided very little rainfall over the last 24 hours, most of it coming in that second round with about almost a tenth in Washington, a few hundreds in Mount Pleasant, same in Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. North of Highway 30, things were pretty much dry in terms of measurable rainfall amounts. Looking ahead over the next several hours, we'll keep the scattered clouds around, at least at times. Some sun mixing in, too. We'll keep winds out of the northwest with us as well as we go through the day, but the only very outside chance of a sprinkle or shower, remember, sticking with us, especially this morning. Later this afternoon and evening, a few showers will try to move near the tri-state area up toward Dubuque. I think for the most part, they stay out of the area, too, and we'll see our skies clear out as we head toward tonight, and especially by tomorrow morning, where we'll see cooler temperatures to greet us again for a day, but with full sunshine and light winds on Friday, we should be able to warm up pretty efficiently as well. Today, really not that cool, but cooler than what we reached in many areas yesterday. Low 60s in the Northeast with 60 in Decorah, maybe as cool as 59 in Dubuque, 63 in Tama, 62 in Washington. Everyone's kind of hanging around that same range right near or just above our normal highs for the year. Similar temperatures as we go over the next few days, but some ups and downs, very narrow ones though. Friday into the upper 60s in some spots, lower 60s again by the time we get towards Saturday. There is a cold front that will move through Friday night. However, it just has no moisture to work with. We're not expecting any precipitation as that front moves through. As we look ahead toward next week, though, the weather pattern does become more favorable for the potential for showers and storms. And that starts later Tuesday after a warm up into the 70s. Then multiple days where at least we'll have chances on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We'll have to refine the details here as we get closer, but it does look like a time where we could see a little bit more than just a few hundredths of an inch of rain. Weatherwise question, Iowa's official state tree is the oak. Which color do many species of oak turn in the fall? I was thinking my parents' oak at mm -hmm. their family farm. Okay. That one turns kind of a gold. Okay. So, and that's not an option. So I suppose C, orange is the closest that. I know maple turns red. Yeah, I do not know which trees turn which colors. <laughs> I know a pretty tree when I see one, but I could not be totally sure. I'm gonna go with A, red. So many do turn red. Now there are exceptions and some are more of an orangish color, like you said. So orange gets partial, partial credit this credit morning, there. but yeah. it seems like most of the Iowa species are more of a reddish color. They turn a little bit later too, it seems like. This is all based on some uh, research done. I'm not an arborist, nor do I claim to be one, uh, but there's a lot of nice color out there to enjoy. And of course, did you know that oak was the state tree? I honestly had forgotten. I knew the bird, but yeah, that was yes. a good refresher. Yeah, I think that's yeah. one of those things. And the that, flower. Yeah, yeah, the flower, maybe the state rock. Do you know that? Geode. Geode, exactly. Yeah, yeah some of the stuff that you learned in grade school, but uh, right. nice to have that refresher. Thanks, Corey.